Assalamu alaikum dears. This video is about uh, uh, the use of uh, T code PA20. So uh, I hope that uh, it will prove helpful in actually practicing the content and understanding how to use this T code. So here is the SAP GUI window and uh, uh, we are going to access uh, the T code PA20. When you first time will access, probably this left hand part which is appearing in, in my window will not be there because uh, uh, I have uh, since used it uh, for, for some time and uh, I have some queries that I run, so it is showing me the results of my latest query. So here we actually enter uh, the personal number, and uh, if we know the personal number, for example, personal number 24. We just enter it and we get some of the basic data which is uh, the name of the person Sanjay Dattel uh, EE group we don't have discussed what EE group is actually its employee group but we, we shall discuss it it's Jan also German for the time being EE subgroup employee subgroup personal area so a few details have been here and these uh, this is the list of all the info types which have been not all the info type but some of the info types main important info types and this text sign actually denotes that these info types are maintained. Maintained means there is some data in them. And uh, using the scroll bar, you can see that the list uh, is uh, uh, quite rich. And there is another tab, control data. There are some info types here. And some of them are actually repeating. And these are the actually the shortcuts of the info type. So these are also the shortcuts of the info type. So they have been clubbed. Some of them are clubbed hairs some are uh, here and again there is a repeat a repetition and this is the gross net payroll um, group of info type info types we have one info type populated here this is the net payroll group of info types so these are the different groups of info types we can say which are apparent uh, in uh, this decode if we are interested to see any one of them for example we just select it uh, for example let's go to the basic personal data we select the personal data and just we go to display and we display uh, the info type personal data uh, it will show us uh, i think it's taking too much time so this is the personal data of employee number 24 this is the header data we already uh, know this is a start date so practically it is the date of appointment this is the date uh, the person was uh, okay it's the date of birth not the date of appointment right so and uh, this is the first name last name this is uh, his ssn number this is his date of birth and this is his gender which is undisclosed and there are plenty of other details we go back to the info type list so friends continuing with uh, the same uh, decode pa20 let uh, i am uh, now displaying employee number 20 and I want to display his position which position in SAP means designation which designation he's working on which part of our organization is working on so this is something which is actually contained in info type organization assignment so let's display it organization assignment and we can see that this is the name and uh, so this is Puneet uh, Gulati uh, strange name and uh, this is the company code us00 this is the name of the company code the personal area is dl00 this is the name of the personal area this is the sub area and right now we are not interested what does it mean we shall discuss it uh, in our later sessions and this is the payroll area and again employee group and employee subgroup and this is the position he's working on shop floor worker 3 this is the shop description and this is the long description shop floor worker 3 and this is the position id so uh, actually uh, let's go back and now let's see uh, actually uh, that organization assignment info type we have so far we have this using use this button display let's see what happens in overview so when we actually go to the overview screen it shows us how many records are actually there in this particular info type so it shows that there is only one record in this particular info type which is valid from 1 1 20 10 and there is no end date because there is just one record so as we have as we have discussed the um, time constraints for info type so if there are uh, updations uh, in this particular info type if the employee has changed his designation or the department another record will be added here and then we can actually switch on uh, uh, between these records to see the details so let's go back 
and let's say I'm interested to see the salary of this particular employee. So we go to gross net payroll, basic pay, and now we move on to display. And the basic pay of this particular employee, for example, is uh, uh, annual salary is zero, although logically it should not be the case, but this is the data which is there in the system. So we go back. And apart from the info types which are visible on the main screen, uh, uh, this is the selection of the time period, right? We have discussed something about this in the class. There are very various groups of info types. So these are different groups as we did discuss. And this is actually the free selection of info type, right? So if we are uh, want to select an info type which is not there in this particular list, we can actually select the info type from here. So let's press F4. So the potential list of values of info types. So we have 430 entries found there are 430 info types applicable to this particular employee which could have been there right so if as we discussed in our session live session in class that if the employee number is not there so i delete the employee number i keep it blank and then i again search this info type tab for f4 so there are now there will be more 869 entries found right so these are the info type text. These are the info type numbers and text. So we can actually arrange this report on the basis of this. So just click on this. So it will be arranged, uh, sequenced on info type text, starting from A to Z. And if we arrange to want to arrange this one, so it is on info type number. So we can actually, I can ask you, uh, or we can actually see which number corresponds to which info type text. And let's say I'm interested in seeing the uh, leave entitlement data. So I just press leave entitlement data. And as soon as I uh, write the number or just select from f4 and as, as soon as i press enter right so enter a personal number the system is saying please enter first the personal number let's enter the personal number 20 and now let's enter triple zero five so it's a leave entitlement right and for every info type if i want to see what kind of sub info type subtypes are there i press f4 over here Info type 005 not supported. So there is none, there are no subtypes in leave entitlement info type. Uh, although it 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 seems uh, contrary to the logic, but since the system is implemented internationally, so what leave entitlement does mean in our context doesn't uh, be the same in the global context. So we can have some other info type which could have annual leaves and sick leaves and casual leaves. Anyway, let's try another one. So oh, let's try this uh, addresses. Although addresses is there over here as well, so it is triple zero six. Enter, and let's say how many subtypes exist for this particular info type. And we can see that eighteen entries found: permanent residence, temporary residence. These are the codes of the subtype. So this is the way we can actually explore different info types and their subtypes. And if this is any data in this particular info type, we can go to display and see the data. So no data stored for addresses in the selected period. It means the data is not there in this particular info type. So this is about the use of uh, PA20. And now in the other two videos, we shall see how to search for an employee code if we don't know exactly what the employee code is that is using the F4 key. And in another video, we shall see how to use the free search feature, which is a very rich reporting uh, sort of reporting tool available in just with this one T code PA20. Uh, hope it will serve uh, its purpose. Thank you.